Now let's head back to the kitchen where John is joined by JR from JR's Old Packing House. John? Thanks very much. Yep, JR's Old Packing House, of course, a favorite Sarasota eatery, which recently suffered, ouch, <laughs> some fire damage, uh, will um, be reopening here in about uh, two weeks. Is that right, JR? About two weeks. Soon That's as awesome. Everybody gets, uh, just adding the chicken now to start that, and we're going to let that sit for a minute. Okay. And then what are you cooking for us today, JR? We're going to make chicken and yellow rice. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of our seasoning now just to... Take care of things a little bit to make what little, seasoning are you using there that's a little chicken base and this is a little um badia mix and um very traditional for us okay and then we'll put a little bay leaf in there after we add our liquids and we're gonna add a little cumin so we're just gonna put that in there now and uh so we do that and then oh okay so by the magic of television we're just gonna turn this over and see it starts to sizzle now and uh, at home, you let it brown a little more, but um, seeing how we're here, we're doing this now, we're just going to do this a little bit now. So it, uh, And at the old packing house, you generally, you're, I guess you're, you could say your, uh, your cuisine is Cuban comfort food, right? Pretty much. We do a lot, a lot of Cuban comfort food. We have ropa vieja, we have picadillo, we have, picadillo is that uh, Cuban ground beef, and then ropa vieja has a Cuban shredded beef. We have the chicken yellow rice. Um, so a lot of dishes are made from that. So as that sizzles, as you can hear it sizzle now, mm -hmm. it's going to brown a little bit. And obviously we let it brown and turn it over and let it get all yummy. But um, we're going to skip that part right now. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of onion here in Do a second. Do add that uh, after it browns? or you After it browns a little that, bit, right? then we okay. add the onion mm -hmm. and some fresh chopped garlic. And then we stir. And when you reopen the restaurant, will uh, you still have live music? I mean, it's going to look pretty much exactly like a used one. Yeah, the interior, of, the interior. The interior wasn't really damaged by the fire. The, a buddy of mine, interior decorator, comes in and says, well, what are you going to do differently? I want to get the same same profile. She says, really, JR? So, yeah, it's going to be light, light gray, dark gray, and, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and she's looking at me like, oh. Uh, that's everybody was uh, used to You know to what that. I did do? I added, which I thought was really cool, I uh, did some chalkboard paint, which I thought well, that was fun. Mm -hmm. And um, so as this cooks a little bit, we're, then we're going to add the rice. Okay. So mm, we're going to add the rice now anyway. So what we want to do is saute the rice um, with the chicken so it, it gets all that natural juices. Um, you know, you definitely want the natural juices of everything coming together. And that's what makes the dish uh, so flavorful. Um, is and this is basically you know one of those things. It's pretty much a one-pot meal, mm -hmm. so everything goes in the same pot. Um, so there you go. Well, that sounds good. Now you have some liquids to add there. What liquids? Do you oh, add? this is um, a dry white wine they use in Cuban in Cuban cooking. You can buy it at Winn Dixie or wherever you, or whatever store you want to buy it at. What's that called? Uh, Vino Seco. Okay. Um, and it's very traditionally flavorful. Um, or it's what you're not really something you'd want to actually you're not gonna drink that's not what you want to drink by the way but however for cooking it's a very traditional tastes good is it a sweet wine no it's a dry white wine okay again though it's not uh, don't don't get it confused with Pinot, uh, Pinot Grigio or Chardonnay or anything like that it's okay. not for that okay <laughs> simply for cooking <laughs> this and is simply for cooking then what have you got there this depending on who's cooking they will add uh, beer and and you just let that uh, same concept. Um, and then when it's all finished, said and done, it kind of looks like what you have right out yeah, here. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. We forgot to add the water, man. Oh, add the water. Add the water. And of course, we don't have time here in TV time to let it actually cook. But the recipe the is on our website, mysuncoast.com. Yeah, you can go on the website and get all the video instructions. And Finish it off with a little cilantro there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All here right. you go. Awesome. And, and um, then this garnish, the, the rest of the cilantro you garnish with later. Fantastic. And it's a yummy dish, and it's very simple. Basically, one pot meal. Right. Well, JR, in advance, we want to uh, congratulate you on your reopening and hope you have a, a very successful uh, reopening. And uh, keep us posted on when that occurs. Okay. All right. Good to have you here, sir. Thank you. We'll be right back.